Next, I go over to the left side of the script canvas window to the node palette. Remember the script events we created at the start of the video? Well, here they are. Let's put them to good use. I click on the hit enemy arrow dropdown. I drag the hit enemy node to the canvas. You will see a pop-up menu with two selections, send hit enemy and receive hit enemy. Let's select the received hit enemy. Next, let's do the same with the miss enemy script event node. The logic here is when the start game event is executed, and if the game over perimeter bool is false, and the level win perimeter bool is false, we will have a new game started. So let's connect both hit enemy and missed enemy to the false condition result. Next, I will connect the script to the UI canvas. Use the node palette search and type in get canvas. So let's grab the get canvas node and drag it to the canvas. Connect the hit enemy event execution slot to the get canvas node in connection. We can leave the entity ID as self because both the UI canvas reference component and the current script canvas component are on the same entity. Next, Let's search for the find element by name in the node palette. Drag this node to the canvas and connect it to the get canvas out, as well as the out entity ID to the source. This node will look at the HUD UI canvas for the elements by its name. So let's enter score for the name to look for. Next, We'll be doing some math. Let's search for the add math node and drag that to the canvas. I will connect the hit enemy point send to the add value zero. Then connect the fine element out to our add in. I will grab the score number variable in the number one slot. Now let's also add a subtract math node to the canvas. Connect it to the fine element by name node. Add the enemy total number to the value zero. Add the enemy life number to the number one. Now let's search for the build string. We will convert our score result from a number to a string. Connect the add out to the build string in as well as the add result out to the build string value in. Next, let's drag out the score number variable to the canvas. Select set from the menu pop-up. This will update our current score with results. I will do the same with enemy total so we can update with the result. Next, I search for the set text node from the node palette and drag it to the canvas. I connect the in slot to the build node out, then connect the string and text node connections together. Now, I drag the score entity ID into the set text source slot. Next, we will need the script event number of enemies. This time I will select send, as we are going to send the updated result of the enemy total count result. 
connect the number of enemies node in to the set enemies total out. Let's now work on some math to keep track of every enemy that slips past us and we miss in the fight. Search for the subtract math node and place it on the canvas. I connect this to the miss enemy points as we will track an enemy slip past us on the battlefield. We will subtract this from the enemy total number. Now I add the script event number of enemies and send this result data so it can be calculated. The extra points is just an option on the missed enemy event, just in case we want to subtract points from the score when the enemy slips past us. Let's just organize this a bit. Now select the whole group. Let's click the top window group icon to group all these nodes. I can name this group score. Now I go back and show how we track the players' lives. I add the script event hit player to the canvas. Connect this to the same if false logic that the new game has started. Now I will add another get canvas node. Connect this to the hit player event execute connection. Next add a find element by name and drag it to the canvas. Connect this to our Get Canvas node and add the name Life. Add another Math Subtract node to the canvas. Connect this to Find Element by Name Out. I connect the damage to value 1. Drag the lives number variable onto number 0. I will also need to convert this number to a string to use it in the UI. Search for the node build string and drag the node to the canvas. Connect this node to the subtract node. Now I add the lives variable to the canvas and set it to set live. I also connect this node to the subtract node. The subtract result will be stored in the lives variable. Now I send the result from the lives text element into our UI. I grab the set text node under the UI text. I place this node on the canvas and connect it to the build string. Drag our life entity ID variable and place it in the source slot. Connect the text in to the build string out. Now I search for the math comparison node, less than or equal to. Drag this onto the canvas. Connect this to the set lives out and the number to the value A slot. Next, I grab the script event start game and drag it to the canvas. 
I will select Send Start Game. Connect the less than true to the start game event. Then check on true, game over. This will execute the start game event with the parameter game over true and end the game. Last thing we need to do is to destroy our player prefab. In the node palette, I search for player self-destruct script event. Select the send and connect it to the start game out. Next, I finish up by selecting all these nodes and grouping them together. Let's give the group a title name. Let's call it Lives. Let's test out our game score and live scripts and UI Canvas and see how it's all working. On the top left menu bar, I select the pull down menu and select Play Game Maximize. 